I have the key to the world! It does nothing. Whatever. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword. I'm Zelda Master, and in the last episode, we made our way here to the entrance of the Laneru Mining Facility. So we can make our way to the Temple of Time, because it somehow connects to it, but... Uh, where, where, where is that entrance exactly? It somehow is not existent. You know, it's just not here. Uh, and that is because we must open up this generator by, uh, powering on the three dials that are located around the North Desert. And then by doing so, we'll be able to activate the generator. It should take us to the facility itself, which is the next temple within the game. So we're going to do that in this episode. And, uh, we can now douse for the locations of them and there should be ooh, one over here so let us do that uh, first thing I want to do though is remove all of these useless beacons because we need to actually set up more beacons so I believe where was it exactly it was located over there so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one two three and now I just know exactly where I can run on and where I can't because these are secret platforms that allow us to run on things See, look how safe I am just walking around like this. Is that guy still following me? Are you serious right now? Wait, wait. Okay, let's see. Can I stop this? Do, 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 eh. No, it's not working. He's going to hit me. Ah! Oh, he did. Whoa, are you kidding me? Several of them? That is so rude. I literally just got bombarded with that. Okay, whatever. Whatever, man. All right, I have no more bombs on me. I realize how... Stupid that is. I kind of need bombs because I can't really blow up anything. So, luckily, I have one bomb for this explosion area here, and that's actually all I need because this will open up a time shift crystal. And one of the generators are located in this one. So, all I need to do is hit this and then power it on, which, uh, you know, it sounds simple, and it is pretty darn simple. Now, I wonder if I can actually find bomb plants here. Please tell me there are some. Come on. Be generous game. No, there isn't. God dang it. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and place this in. Turn it in and push. Just like that, the water element has been activated. And it somehow automatically appears on the generator that is rusted and not working. But it will work once we bring it back to the past or something. Yeah. All right. So we should go ahead and this way. Actually, I need to know where I'm going. Uh, oh god, oops, wrong area. Oh. Hey, there are bomb plants. I'm stupid. It's just covered by sand, so you can't actually tell. All right, let's, let's be patient. Let's grab like one or two. Up. Oh, I see this guy coming. You know what? You know, screw that. I'm just gonna go ahead and check out what's in here. Is he still chasing me? Are you kidding me? Stop! You're so annoying. There is just an ember relic in here. Was it worth it? Yes. It was, because I have like 50 of them, and I just need more and more and more and more and more and more. Let's be honest, man. That's exactly what I need. Just as much as I can get. <laughs> yeah, all right. And I also need as, much, as many bombs as I can get, of course. As you can tell, just picking them up one after another, dude. So important to me. Give me more. All right, I know I'm wasting time doing this, but I don't care, man. I want to make sure I am set in stone. Okay. So, we're just going to go ahead and run along this path. And then head up here. We're all safe, we're good and dandy, let's go ahead and douse for the next one. So this is obviously not it, this is misleading, I don't know why it shows you this. But you want to avoid that. Um, oh, I see one over there, you can actually see a cracked wall, so it makes it even more obvious. <laughs> but, yeah, there is one, so... Oh wait, okay, wait. No, ah, I got it, got a tumbleweed. Why don't you tumble on that, dude? <laughs> yeah, that made no sense. That wasn't really a comeback. I don't know, I'd try to come back myself, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so this is the next area to where we can activate the second dial that will power up the generator, uh, and it's like a mini room of sorts. The music that plays, amazing. It's pretty much similar to the outside music, but more calm, and it has that roomy feel to it. Uh, super spectacular. Now... This overall is super straightforward. I believe you just want to do this. And then you want to do... Watch this. Check this out. Nope. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to do some crazy cool tactic. But let's go ahead and roll this over here. Run to this side. And just wait it out. Oh, okay. Oops. That was kind of stupid. I'm going to fall. 
Am I? No, I'm not. Okay. But yeah, Time Shift Crystal was there. It brought this whole place back to life in the past. And look at how cool it is. Yeah, it is so awesome. Now, these giant dudes, the the guys with the shells, in the past, somehow they mutated, I guess, over time and they evolved. But when they were small, they used to look like this. Maybe they just grew older. It took years and years and years and years for them to grow and become huge. But this is what they are right now. They're like little energy balls. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And, no, no, no. What the heck, man? Die. All right, he's dead. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna wait for him to try to shock me, and then right after he does, pick it up quickly, throw it, do this. Ah, oh, okay, Fi is gonna tell me what I need to do. Thank you, Fi. I don't need to know what I need to do because I am well aware of what I need to do. So yeah, okay. And then kind of not. Oh, want to knock it in. I want to knock it. In. Okay, this is this is harder than it looks. Ah. There we go, it took so long. I just didn't want to pick it up again so I can, you know, get electrocuted. I'm not really a fan of that. But yeah, you just want to like somehow roll the ball in to this device that will suck it up and it will give it energy to open up this. And now we can insert the key and just like that, suck it one down. Was it too hard? No, it was actually really easy. In my opinion, at least. I don't know if it was difficult for you, but it might have been. And if it was, that sucks. But yeah. The electric element has been complete. Let's pick up whatever else is here. I have a feeling these reference the provinces because um, here is obviously based off of electricity. Of course, if you couldn't tell with with the amount we've been seeing so far. And then the fire is based off of the Elden province. And then the water is based off of the Feron province because, uh, believe it or not, water is... It's pretty big in, in the Faron province. Uh, I guess we haven't really explored that section, but it is. So, yeah. Uh, just know that. Let's see. Can we find anything useful here? Ooh. <gasps> this is our first stack of bombs. I believe it gives you 10 in total. You got 10 bombs. Yeah. Roll them, bomb them, blah, 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 blah. Sweet. Uh, now that we got all these bombs, let's see if there's anything special we could collect. I don't really think so. <laughs> Actually, over here there might be, so I kind of want to head there because we could dig up that. But that would require me putting some effort by deactivating this, standing there, uh, and then activating it again. And I don't want to do that for like what a couple of rupees, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll never do it because I'm most likely never coming back here. It is like this, they're so big and cool, but. Once you explore it once, you explore it for good. You know, it's just like it's done. It's, it's really no point to really deal with it anymore, you know? <sighs> but yeah, okay. Let's see. The next one is all the way over here. It's where it is. To head there, you must run like the wind. A lot. So get ready for that. Let's go ahead and take out our beacons. Or, you know, unequip them. Uh, we're going to run up here, we're going to run like this, and then we're going to run down here. So I'm going to go ahead and set one like this. And I'm also going to set one like this and that. I feel like this will be helpful for me. You're going to see why. Uh oh, oops, 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 no, 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 I need to like, be super accurate with where I'm going because I'm hurting myself quite a bit. And the reason why I did that is so I come, come, come here. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> I'm not aggressive at all. Uh, the reason why I did that is so I can head over here because, oh my God. Yeah, I lost so much HP. I bet you guys were like, wow, dude, you suck. Blah, 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 Well, check this out. I can lose as much HP as I want. You know what? This is what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Blow me up. Yeah, no cares in the world. Why don't I care? Well, you're going to figure out real soon. This secret, and I'm actually going to show you where I am on the map. That's why I put a beacon here. Is so I can make my way up. Okay, you know what? Hit me. Hit me, electric. Yes. Okay, now be careful. Okay, maybe that's a little too much. Getting hurt way too often. I don't want to actually die, but I'm trying to act super, 
super badass. Uh-oh, now I'm putting myself in a super sticky, sticky situation. The reason why I'm doing this is because of the chest over here. Oh my god, imagine if that guy actually hit me, then I would have died. Actually, I would have still had a fairy, so. But it's a piece of heart, yay! And it makes another heart container! Check it out! Oh my god, yeah. 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 We have a row and one already. Are you jealous? Well, I would be. Because if... I don't know why you would be, especially if you're following this playthrough, you'd most likely have a row and one as well. I mean, granted, it's not... One of them is essentially, like, artificial. Because... <laughs> One of my hearts come from a medallion, but still, man, still, it works. I'll take it. I'd rather have a fake heart than no heart at all. Right, guys? Right. I'm just assuming you guys agreed with me, because that sounded spectacular, in my opinion. <sighs> man, I am starving right now. I'm like having, I'm having a really hard time focusing right now. I don't know why, man. I'm just so freaking hungry. Maybe because... I woke up today and haven't eaten anything, and it's like, it's 2 right now, 2 p.m. I've been up since like 9, so it's really kicking in, and my meals are really bad. I'm really bad with like planning meals, especially when you try to be on a diet or work out, and you can't really eat fast food, and it's not even the fact that I don't, well, I don't want to, because, yeah, but it's like, when you work out and you're eating fast food, at least for me, I have like a really bad, I want to say a slow metabolism to where it takes so long for me to digest food and then I just feel really sick, especially when it's something unhealthy. So I, I find it really hard to eat properly. I wish I had like some chef that could cook the best, most, you know, perfect <laughs> meals that I need for my diet. Cause I know that when it comes to like lifting or losing weight and all of that stuff, most of it is done in the kitchen. Like, yeah, yeah, you work out, yeah, that's you know gonna help you get results, but what's more important is actually eating properly and eating in general. Like, you don't want to starve yourself. Uh, it, it, and it's like I know I'm so aware of that, but it's like I can't get myself to do it, even though I know how important it is. I don't know, man. It's just food is so difficult. And I don't even care about the taste. I'll eat whatever. But it's just like, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to eat. I don't know how to, like, go with that. I just legit wish I had, like, a personal trainer for food in particular. Because I feel like with working out, I got it all down. But, yeah. I like, honestly, this topic was so random right now. I just realized that. But whatever. Uh, oh, my God. That was really stupid. You know what? Ah, ah, come on! God dang it. Alright, you know what? Let's just try again. No! What the heck are you doing? Alright, whatever. Go ahead and do this. Do I explode immediately? No? Really? Okay, that worked. Kind of. Maybe. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to ride this. You, I know the time shift crystal seems really... Uh, really important to hit right now, but don't worry, leave that alone. Because we're here for the long ride. Alright? I'm gonna go ahead and hit, uh, just see what's in there, you know? I'm just curious. I wanna get any type of heart, any type of. How many times are you gonna give me freaking Deku Nets? I don't need that crap. Alright, whatever. Let's just head up here. The chest I can get. That's not really why I'm here for, or what I'm here for, but I'm still gonna grab it. It's gonna give us. Some Elden or Boy, am I excited to have another one of these. It does only have one Monster Claw. And I think Monster Claws are, like, really important. So, yeah. We never created a shortcut, but I don't care about the shortcut itself. I want to hit this Time Shift Crystal. I don't have to be up here, but I'm going to stay up here just in case. And then it should change these little dudes back to that. All right, so now that I'm up here, I'm gonna go ahead and run all the way back like this. I can just actually no wait. Yeah, I'd rather not make the I'd rather not make the the travel twice. I want to be as close as I can to that little guy. I'm gonna use my hook beetle. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down. I'm going to scoop him up. Ah. All right. Now that I have him scooped up, we're gonna take him all the way 
over there. Now, if your beetle starts blinking, it's more advised to like head back up to Link and then recharge the beetle. But I think my beetle's strong enough to make it here. And then just drop it. Now that we're done, also it looks like there's a fan up here. It looks exactly like a fan. What the heck? All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> now that we've done that, we can run back like this, and hopefully this doesn't take me too long to actually do properly. Oh my god. Come on! Ah! Ah! Go in! We did it. Just like that, we have charged it up. Charged up, baby. Now, the last one. <gasps> also, there are some cool goody chests that we can get. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's inside this one. It's some... Well, I was speaking of monster horns, and now I got myself a monster horn. I'm pretty darn proud. But I no, it's not. Wait, this is a this is it's not a monster fang. It's a horn. I believe that's my first one I've ever obtained then. Huh? That's weird because I feel like they're pretty common to get, especially from uh, Bakublins. But I guess not. Okay, push this in. We have done it. The fire element has appeared. We are good. We are set in stone. Let's go ahead and actually activate the generator now, and end this all off, because. That's everything, my friend. Hey, my name is Fi, and I'm gonna tell you something that you should already know by now. Thing, I swear. I, okay, the only reason why Fi annoys me so much is because they never need to do this in other Zelda games. Why is it so important to do now? I understand Fi gives you information, but why? Like, in a Zelda game, when you figured out a puzzle, the game didn't have to tell you, "Hey, you figured out this puzzle. Now go do this." They never did that. Also, this looks like a GameCube, and I was off topic. But it does. Uh, a GameCube that only takes two slots for the uh, remotes, not four. But that's what bugs me the most. It's just like you never—I never needed this. You know, I, I'm comparing it to other Zelda games where they just expect you to know stuff, not hold your hand through every small thing. That's what bothers the crap out of me. So when Fi does that, it just it irritates me. I'm just like, shut up! I don't care. The game doesn't need to tell me this crap because I'm well aware of it and I wasn't paying attention to my stamina there uh, but yeah that's my issue I know a lot of people most likely disagree with me but I don't care that's just how I see it actually a lot of people do agree because a lot of people do also really dislike Fi like I know Fi is hated uh, with a lot of people not just because she has no personality but because she does that, because she just does not stop talking. I know Navi did that in Ocarina of Time and blah blah blah, but it's like it was never this bad. It was never ever this bad. Navi wouldn't say, she was like, hey, listen, and it would always be something simple, but she would repeat it. That was it. It was something she'd constantly repeat. She wouldn't force herself out and talk to you about the most obvious thing. It was just like, hey, listen, you should check out Death Mountain. And it's like, okay. And then if you don't do it, hey, listen. And then you check what she has to say. And like, you should check out Death Mountain. It's like, okay, well, cool. But Fi, it's like, I blew up a bomb. And then Fi comes out and she's just like, hey, uh, so by my uh, analysis, I think you just blew up this bomb and it exploded into many pieces. Uh, yeah, so I don't know why I said that, but cool. All right, peace out. It's just, thank, thank you. I really, I really needed that five. I just, I needed that. I did. I did not. I did not at all. All right. <laughs> okay. Now let's open up the temple. After that rant. So look at this. You'll see the way they are faced. It's kind of like the little gearbox. And obviously they have all of these little walkways that we used for how we want to time it or how we want to do it. So the water is going to go all the way to the left. Uh, I guess you, we can use like time wise, I guess. So this is uh, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and then we have, um, actually this is not 9, this is, this is 8 o'clock, right? No, this is 9 o'clock. 9, 12, and 4. So 9, 12, and 4. Let's go ahead and do that. So water is 9. Like, whoops. Water is 9. Press it in. Uh, what are we on? We're on fire. Fire was... Fire, I believe fire was... 4. Or, okay. Up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. Can we just move? Just move. Con keep moving, keep moving. Turn. There we go. And then... This was 12. No, no, no! Okay, no, no! Oh my god! Stop! 
Put it in. There we go. We did it. If you did this wrong, Fi would have said, oh, but I think you have to do blah, 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 and then you would have figured it out. But I already knew that you had to do this, so that's why I didn't want to listen to that stuff. So, and let me know if me talking and ignoring Fi and just making fun of her does annoy you, because if it does, maybe I'm more annoying than Fi, you know? So, if it does, let me know, because I'm, I'm curious, and I don't, I don't mean to do that, but Fi does annoy me, and I think it's pretty funny just to make fun of her, because she is a funny gal, right? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and sit down and replenish that one heart, and it is time to take on the temple. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword and in the next one we're gonna enter it so oh my god get ready huh?